Hi everyone, I'm Sara Kita and I have the 2022 Ultra Cold with me today. I'm gonna go through the straps, the fin positioning and base positioning and we'll talk about how to set that up in the best way. That way giving you the best tips so that you can get on the water and have the most fun. gonna start off with the foot straps I'm just I'm very used to this board so I automatically put my back straps all the way to the back of the board and then actually the front straps I don't put them in the back insert I actually put them in the middle insert um, I've learned over the years that having a wider stance gives you more control which I really like in the wave riding um, you can yeah you have a wider stance you can get lower so you can really get into that bottom turn so that's a nice feeling for me and also with jumping, um, I like the feeling of have a wider stance for the landing as well. So in general for me, I'm also quite a tall person, so I'm 1 meter 80. So for me it works really nicely to have the back stra strap in the back insert and the front straps in the middle insert. Generally speaking, it, it will definitely work having both in the, in the back inserts. It's, it's definitely a preference thing. And I would say if you are a shorter rider, it will work. It should probably be fine to have the back strap in the back and the middle, the front straps in the back insert as well. One feature of the washers on the foot straps that we have, as you can see, the hole is not exactly in the middle of the washer. So what it actually does, it gives you more or less space in your foot strap. So let's say you wanna have um, tighter straps and closer on each other. What you do is you actually turn the washer this way and that will make your straps a centimeter or two more narrow. But if you feel like you need more space, then actually you want to insert your washer this way so that you have more space. Foot strap size is also very important. Lately, I've seen a lot of people that have way too small straps and then like their toes are just making it through. But what you actually want is to have the, the straps big enough so that your feet can get in easily and also get out easily. This is the safest way for you to be on the water and especially if, if you're gonna get catapulted, which happens to all of us every single session, you want to be uh, sure that your feet come out as quick as possible as well. So I don't know if you are like me, but I am a total geek when it comes to fins and I change the position of my fins a lot of times because I think you need to adapt to the conditions a lot of times. Having said that, there are general rules to fin positioning and a general point where it should work for most conditions. Right now I have the Ultra Cold Thruster with me which comes with three boxes and it makes the board lighter. But of course you can also order it with five boxes and which allows you to have a quad setup as well. So today I'm going to show you the thruster setup that I have. It comes with the standard um, 11 centimeter side fins and 18 centimeter rear fin. So actually it's quite straightforward. There's markings that show you, that will help you to remind you where, where to put your fins. The side fins, I always have them all the way in the front. Um, this actually, I actually never change that. What I do work with is the rear fin. What you can think about, one rule is the closer the fins are to each other, the um, looser the board will be and the tighter turns you can make, but you will have less control. The wider the fins are from each other, the more control you will get and the more power you need to put on to actually get into the turns. Um, but it gives you more grip as well to have wider fins. So there's a, there's a balance and a lot of times I set my fins and once I get on the water and feel the conditions, I realize where I want to have my fins. So positioning your rear fin, I usually base it off of the back strap. I, the general rule for this one is to have the leading edge right in the middle, in the center of the back strap. This is where I start and then once I get on the water and feel the conditions and how my board is working, from that position I will either move it forward or backwards. So if I feel like I need more control and more grip, if it's very choppy conditions and I'm sliding out, then I will move the center fin a bit further back. If I feel like my board is very stiff and it's not turning enough, 
then I will move the, the rear fin a bit more forward. If I move it forward, the board is going to be a bit looser. So if I realize, for example, that I need more grip on my board, then I want to move my fin further back. Um, but remember, it's, you don't want to move it for five, five centimeters is a lot, two centimeters is a lot. So basically what I would do now is from this middle marking, I would basically move it to the middle of these two. More than that would be too much. Um, then from there, we'll go in the water, see if that feels better. And then if it doesn't, then again, it will just move it a little bit. So just keep in mind that really small changes make a big difference on the water. If you're riding much bigger waves and you feel a bit out of control, that's when you want to have a bit wider setup. And if you're riding smaller waves and you want to have tighter turns to get into the pocket, then you actually have the setup a little bit closer to each other. So I think it's very important to always play around with your gear. There's never one perfect setting because the conditions change all the time. So for me, the foot straps, they, they stay kind of in the same place, but the fins can change quite often. And also the base positioning for me is um, a game changer very often. So basically, if it's the first time you're going out, you start off in the middle. And then from there, you figure out if you need to have the base further forward or more to the back. If, if you need more control, you're gonna move your base plate further forward because if you move it further forward, you're gonna have more pressure on the nose of the board and you're gonna have more control. Um, when your base is further forward, it also means that your turns are gonna be bigger. So generally, if, you're, if the waves are bigger, then it's okay to move the base a little bit more forward. The moment there's smaller waves or you want to have a more loose feeling on the water, that's when you actually move the base further back. Having the base further back means your board will, the nose of the board will ride a little bit higher and um, it allows you to make tighter turns as well. The base positioning is also very important to only move it very little distances at a time. So let's say again, here you have these different markings. If I will move my base plate a little bit forward, I could move it from one marking to the next. That would already be a big difference and you're gonna notice that on the water. If you do much more than that, it's, it's gonna be a huge difference. So to get the best setting, you need, you need to move your base a little bit at a time. So those are my tips for setting up your ultra coat the best way. Hope the next time you get on the water, you will do the same and have lots of fun as well. If you want to watch more videos like these, subscribe to Starboard Windsurfing's YouTube channel and see you in the next episode.